404 is the error code for a web page that is not found. A 404 is essentially a door to nowhere. And we kind of felt like there was something inherently mysterious about that. I was like, where did this go? I think we started this show, the very beginnings of what this became the show, I believe like six years ago. Before Black Mirror. Before Black for Mirror. The yeah, for the record. We <laughs> now just, now there yeah. are so many of these coming yeah, yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, there's but, all these uh, anthologies now, but at the time we were kind of, it was way before all that. Dan and David, who are two friends of mine from film school, and Will, who uh, was one of the writers on VGHS, they had these sort of like episodes, uh, sort of sci-fi concepts and sort of Twilight Zone-esque, but modernized. They were weird and goofy, but ultimately sweet and poignant. And it was a good mixture of what we'd done, but mixed with like horror and sci-fi. It just felt like a great project. In a strange way, this is a show that I've been preparing for my entire life. Ever since watching reruns of Twilight Zone on the weekends with my pops, reading short Philip K. Dick stories, Stephen King stories, or Goosebumps with my classmates, staying up late with my brothers to catch the next episode of Tales from the Crypt, I think that we were able to come up with six incredibly unique, just full out bonkers stories. We've got stories about super-powered energy drinks, time travel, the advent of 3D movie technology and how everyone hates it and it feels like it's taking over and ruining cinema. We tackle online dating and, you know, love in the age of Tinder. We've got a story about a real-life urban legend, one of the original video game ghost stories, Polybius. Uh, as a director, I'm looking at a story where the main character is a giant blob of meat. How do you get people to relate to a sentient blob of meat? Uh, that's challenging, that's difficult, and you know, and I think that that's really exciting uh, as a director. The thing that I like love about all of these episodes is that they are just like really weird. I don't think you would see these quite anywhere else. You're not only tackling different characters and different plots and different worlds, what Twilight Zone was to the atomic age. Dimension 404 is hoping to be that for the age we live in now. That's what Dimension 404 is trying to capture. The most exciting thing, frankly, was seeing everyone come together hundreds of people, many of which I've never met before, craftsmen, cast that we never thought we'd ever be able to work with, and they all subscribe to this vision, this idea that started over a cup of coffee all those years ago. I am so proud of what this talented group of people were able to put together and I'm very excited to share that with folks. I hope by the time you're done watching, you have felt a wide range of emotions and feel like by the end of it, you're a different person than when you started it. This isn't the end of the Dimension 404 journey for us. This is just the end of one chapter and the beginning of the next. There are a lot of stories out there in Dimension 404 that are just waiting to be told.